What up, creepers? How the heck are you guys? It's clear ski. I'm back. How the heck are you guys? It's been a while. I always say that I know, but it's always good to see you guys first and foremost. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. It is kind of a cold, rainy Saturday here in Portland, but I wanted to take you guys to such a special place. This vlog means so much to me. Uh, not only was John such a great friend, but what an all-around cool, cool cat, cool dude, and at this point, a historical Portland icon, basically. And um, he has a pun that was used for his movie that was just released, a biopic of his life called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Too Far on Foot, hence the reference to him being in a wheelchair. John Callahan, John Michael Callahan, was not only a great friend, but a great all-around artist, musician, and just a cool dude. It's just super funny and fun to be with. Um, I first met John up in Northwest Portland when I worked for Coffee People Northwest, and John was known to frequent the area in his wheelchair, zipping down 23rd with his bright orange red hair blazing in the wind. And John would stop and talk with people and his, his humor was outright the funniest. Um, out of all the cartoonists in Portland, you guys know that I love cartooning, The Simpsons, everything like that, um, but I found John's humor the funniest. Now, a lot of people found John's humor to be kind of dark and weird or kind of creepy, if you will, uh, because he dealt with subjects that a lot of people weren't usually familiar with touching base on and John had a way of finding humor in sad times, dark humor, um, and most importantly, he was a paraplegic, a quadriplegic, and would touch on people with disabilities and kind of lighten the mood, if you will. So this vlog means the world to me. John, you are deeply missed, and I do these videos first and foremost to not only keep their memory alive, but pay homage to what they have accomplished in their life. So today, we are at a very special place, like I mentioned. We are at the final resting place of actually where Mr. John Michael Callahan rests today. Um, John died um, pretty bad. He had some bed sores from a, a ailment that basically took his life in the long run and ended up passing away in 2010. But he recently had a biopic of his life filmed by famous director Gus Van Zant, who is a Portland native as well, um, and it depicted what he accomplished in his life. But let's go right over here, is where John's final resting place is, and I want to show you guys his headstone, which is super cool, and it just shows that even to his death, he had humor all the way up until him basically being buried here. Now I am in Northwest Portland coming to you guys from Skyline Boulevard at Ma Mount Calvary Cemetery, which is the second oldest historical cemetery here in Portland. And so we're gonna creep over here and I'm gonna show you guys John's final resting place. And I'm not sure if he was able to get his final wishes together when he passed, but I'm not sure who picked the, the headstone for him or maybe if he picked it himself, but this is his headstone. And if you guys look very closely, there is a reference to one of his famous, most famous cartoons. And John drew these cartoons by basically putting the pen in his left hand and dragging the pen with his right hand. And John was in a horrible accident um, involving drunk driving with one of his buddies, they were leaving the bar and the accident happened and it caused John to become a quadriplegic. So he rolled with the punches and basically still kept up his art and would draw these kind of squiggly, cool little cartoons, which I just love the the drawing, the realness of them. I mean, all of his comics and all of his cartoons, he does these little characters. And for just dragging his hand across the paper, I feel like they, they are great. The little comics and the little drawings that he does are just so funny. And if you look, this one actually says, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. 
And if you look really closely, there's a wheelchair and it looks like he's being hunted by like maybe some sheriffs or some outlaws. And it looks like he, they're referencing him being quadriplegic. So I think that that is just so funny that he was able to kind of make light of something bad that happened to him. And he was also known to draw other cartoons relating to people with disabilities and stuff. So a lot of people thought that his art was kind of macabre or uh, weird, like I said. Now, John was born February 5th, 1951, and unfortunately passed away July 10, or I'm just sorry, July 24th of 2010. And he's most rapidly known for his work in the back of the Willamette Week magazine here. Uh, but his drawings and art was all over the world, so he definitely accomplished a lot in his life. So at the age of 21 is when the accident happened. And uh, him and a buddy were bar hopping, and his buddy was drunk and caused a wreck. So, following his accident, he became a cartoonist, like I said. And, like I said, his, his subjects were kind of taboo, so a lot of people weren't sure how to accept them. Um, but he basically... He basically did what he wanted and was just rolling with what had been dealt with, you know, what he had been dealing with and making light of it. So I loved it. And from 1983 until his death, 27 years later, Callahan's work still appears in the Willamette Week. Um, and I actually brought one of the articles with me here in my backpack that I'll show you guys that talks about his biopic featuring Jack Black, Jaquan Phoenix, and uh, let's see, I think Jonah Hill's in it as well. Yes, Jonah Hill. So it's funny because Callahan scoffed at the reactions of the critics who labeled his work politically incorrect. Um, and I actually talked to John a couple times when I was up in Northwest when I very first met John. And he told me about how he would basically take humor that a lot of people found dark and turn it into something funny. And in particular, one occasion, I was actually stacking the chairs and the tables at this coffee shop that I was working at at the time. And John was in the, sh in the coffee shop drawing his cartoons and he would draw them on little napkins and kind of show me like what would be his newest cartoon that he had thinking up or um, ideas and I was stacking the chairs on top of the tables and John actually asked me I dare you to try and st try and stack my chair <laughs> which I thought was hilarious um, and at first I didn't know how to take it um, but eventually I saw John laugh and so that made me lighten up and I kind of was like okay I get it now um, and then about a week later his cartoon was featured in the Willamette Week and it showed a gentleman looking into a Starbucks after hours uh, quadriplegic Starbucks after hours and the gentleman was looking in the window and it had a bunch of people um, in their in their wheelchairs actually stacked upside down on the table so I love John for that and you will deeply be missed you are truly missed you are truly such a great dude and I know there is also a memorial featuring his work up in Northwest Portland now if you guys go back I actually did a two-part vlog on the memorial and his movie premiere that actually was about two blocks away from the memorial at the time at a film a theater where he frequented on Northwest 21st and so I thought that was cool so now would be the time to definitely go back and check that out if you haven't done that and you can also do me one better and you can like this you can share it and you can subscribe I would love to have all the new creepers and I love this because this vlog means the world to me. I was so glad to actually have found his final resting place. It took me a while today to find it because there's really not much info on his grave online other than just a couple pictures. So I really appreciate the people up here at Mount Calvary Cemetery for letting me come and film this today. And like I always say, I love you guys. And with that being said, John, I miss you, buddy. May you rest in peace. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, actually, the magazine that I brought that features some of John's cartoons. So let's go ahead and set this down just for a minute. And I'll get out that 
Willamette Week news article on his life, the Willamette Week did a full, not only cover story, but article of John's life um, not too long ago. That was, this was last year. Um, let's see, 7 18 2018 is when they did this. So here is the cover of the Willamette Week. And if you guys can see, it says Roll of a Lifetime, which is super cool. And there's John himself. And I wish that they would have actually made the paper in color because he had such awesome bright orangish red hair that was like what really made him stood out. But if you guys can see, it features some of his little cartoons. And, uh, oh look at that, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I love you, John, you make me laugh to this day. But this article is about his life and I will actually put the description to the link for the Willamette Week newspaper so that you guys can check out some more info on this. And then if you guys see here, I'm gonna set this down real quick. In the very back of the paper, they actually featured an entire section of some of his comics, which were so funny. And if you guys can see real quick here, this guy's holding a little can and it says, please help. I'm blind and I think I may have a bullet. <laughs> so still to this day, bud, you make me laugh. You loved Portland. I love you. And with that being said, creeper out for now. Peace.